Hi, this is Robin from, uh, shit. This is Robin, and welcome back to another video. And today we are going to be playing Eloquent Counternance, which, which kind of sounds like Octonauts, but it's definitely not. I have played, I've already played three of the other games, including Dead Plate, Elevator Hitch, and Cold Front. If you haven't seen those yet, be sure to check them out in my channel below. Um, yeah, and also if you haven't already, be sure to like, hit the like button and consider subscribing. It's free and it helps me out a ton. And I know I sound like all the other YouTubers when I say this, but I really, really I really want the subscribers because I try so hard to make these videos um, not horrible. But anyways, we are playing Eloquent Counternance and I don't think I've ever played this I've, I've not, I haven't even heard of this game. All I know is that it has something to do with nuns and angels, I think. So... Without a further ado, uh, I guess we're gonna do Mourn. This game is a work of fiction, has reminisce of positions, blood, disturbing scenarios, imagery, and audio. Has something to do with angels and religion, apparently. You have been told that the pastor of your church has suddenly passed away last night. What? As he helped with his wife's funeral not long ago. You are assigned to assist the pastor's funeral service today as well. Weird. Why is it so slow? Doesn't help my fast reading. By the time the service comes to an end... The funeral is about to begin. All guests to the funeral, please find your way over to the seats. For all service assistance, please make sure to review the procedures of the ceremony thoroughly. Remember, everything must be perfect. Oh, wait. There should be a written procedure for assistance to read somewhere near here. Praying to the heavens to help me make not any mistakes during the ceremony would be very helpful as well. Let's uh, let us do this then. Let us. Oh wow! Okay. Oh, wait. Obtained funeral information memo. What? Another nosebleed. How will I get used to... To what? Have I bled like this before? The funeral event listed is now different to read from it being covered by the blood. Difficult to read. Shit. Order of service, opening speech, prayers, uh, chanting hymens, rethling. What? Resurrect? 
What the fuck? You can press X to review your inventory. This is all the preparation I need. I should start heading over to the front of the altar and find my assigned spot. I want to check over here first. A small frame painting depicting a holy angel. Whoa! What was that? This frame is perfect! I should be able to pray to this. How holy. Untouched! May the heavens be with me to help me remember everything I need to know on this day. That's fucking weird. Stack of religious books. I don't want to read that shit right now. Stop flying. I kind of have to. Verse of the day. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet they were drawn swords. All right. Angels are trustworthy servants of the Lord. They obey the Lord unconditionally, prioritizing any given tasks to them. They were created only to act according to the will of the Lord. The voice of an angel is very sacred, soft, and most importantly, incredibly persuasive. Therefore, it is natural for the Lord's followers to believe angels' words unconditionally, as we follow them to receive words and blessings of the Lord through them. That's a little creepy. To be fair, I'm not religious, so... Oh! Uh... Abigail, meaning of joy God. Anna, meaning God's grace or favor. Angelica, meaning the messenger of God, angel. Caitlin, meaning pure, purity. Celeste, meaning daughter of heaven. Krista, meaning follower. Alright, I feel like I have to read all of these, just to make sure. Eden, meaning paradise, place, place of delight. Elizabeth, promise from God. God is my oath. Eve, meaning life. The true appearance of an angel is impossible to describe with the use of a human tongue. Human beings who see their original form will have their minds broken, their flesh burn, and eventually lead to their death due to their overwhelmingly holy presence. Oh. Therefore, when angels communicate with humans, they must appear as an acceptable illusion or in a vessel that the human mind can comprehend. Most angels choose to appear in the form of animals or humans. The vessel of an angel in the human world is gifted by the Lord. However, this privilege is no longer given after the fall of an angel. Angels who have fallen have their vessel taken and are banished from heaven without having an acceptable form to properly exist on our world. Oh, damn. Alright, I think that's it. Strange voice suddenly starts to ring in your head. Oh? Hello? Hmm. 
Be not afraid, human. Wow, that was way too slow and dramatic for my taste. Yeah, no, if I keep speaking like this, we'll be here all day. So, you know what? Go, be free. I will release you from this pain and start speaking normally. Give a huge round of applause for my thoughtfulness, everybody. Oh. And turn this weird background ambience off, too. It's kind of killing the mood. Looks like somebody's got a joke. Is a jokester. Now that that's all out of the way, can you hear my oh-so-friendly and soft voice that just makes your heart melt away from all the trustworthiness? Oh, how unexpectedly sweet of you. You actually think my voice sounds like that? Well, if you like my voice so much, I should never stop talking for you then. All right, from this point on, everything I say must be in fully written paragraphs. You ready to end? read endlessly blocks of tests? text, lady? Here we go. One, two... Yeah, no. That was a joke, if you haven't already noticed. Now, how about it? Aren't you curious on how I look now that you've heard my voice? All right, all right. Everyone gather around for the grand entrance of yours truly. Wow. I don't think I'm... What do you think he's gonna look like? Ta-da! Aren't you... too disappointed? What? Did you expect me to be more, well, holy looking? Come on now! Chin up! No one besides me ever even wanted to try and come meet you. I personally came to help you out since I'm super nice and proper like that. You should be grateful, lady. Before we start getting attached to each other, I need you to answer something for me first. Surprise quiz! Guess what I'm supposed to be? Feel free to answer however you like. You're not getting punished or anything. I'm just an illusion in your head. How could I ever hurt you? Ah, that doesn't mean I want to hurt you if I could, by the way. So, don't start assuming I'm evil just yet. I want to say demon. Oh, was it that obvious? That's right. I'm the meanest and rottenest demon there is. Growl, bark, give me your body. I will eat your soul. You thought I'd say things like that? Seriously? What made you think I'm a demon in the first place? I only asked if you could hear me. Do you not see this holy light shining from above me upon my graceful entrance? I'm an angel. That's right, an angel. Well, guardian angel to be specific. You know, the ones that get assigned to a specific human and took after them, or look after them so they don't die. I think we're also called the silent protector sometimes. But don't call me that. Too pretentious of a title, don't you think? So just call me by my name. It's Forkus. Anyway, I believe this is the point where you're starting to wonder. Why is this suspicious angel reeking of old man energy suddenly talking to me? Why does he talk like that? His characterization sucks. 
What? Am I not allowed to talk to people when I'm bored? Are you saying angels should shut up and only stand around looking pretty? I didn't say anything. Oh, well, I'm not here because I'm bored anyway. I'm here for business. The human I've been assigned to took over to look over got tied up with his obviously suspicious church. Now, it would be really convenient for me if someone who's already on the site were to help me. Lady, how about we make a deal? Huh. Hmm. Alright, what I just said sounds a lot like I'm supposed to be something else that's not an angel. But like I told you before, I'm telling you now again. I am 100% an a pure angel, don't forget that! Anyway, you'll even get a prize if you do your part well. It's... Drumroll, please. Ta-da! Me! Youch! Aren't you being too harsh? Wait a minute! Aren't you supposed to be a nun? How can you even act like that towards me? I'm a very serious and graceful angel, you know. You still don't get why me being around you will be the best thing that can ever happen to you. Listen here, I'm a guardian angel, yeah? Think of every time everything guardian angels can do for their human. You'll never get hurt. All troubling things in your life, poof, gone. How useful is that? Well, how about it? Pretty neat, eh? Isn't that your responsibility in the first place? I'm doing you a favor. You are not my original responsibility, kid. Never mind. What I mean is, yes, that's my job. But I'll upgrade those perks by 11. Like a bonus package. Guardian Angel Premium. Premium, you could say. What do you even want? What I want is fairly simple. No matter what happens, I want you to focus and finish today's funeral perfectly all the way from the start to finish. Should we just be like an asshole to him? Because it's kind of just out of nowhere. Well, isn't that convenient? You just need to do what you planned, then. Oh, and don't forget, never think about escaping or helping someone. Ignore them. Focus only on what you're doing. Haha, <laughs> that was too specific? Are you suspicious of me now? Uh... I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> um. Oh, whatever. I'll, I'll still trust him. Lady! My heart just went bump bump. I am touched. I do want to make you trust me from the get go, believe me. But you know how it is. The boss upstairs is pretty strict about this kind of thing. Listen, all angels have rules we must follow. We cannot let humans know what kind of crisis or problem they're going to be facing directly. Boss isn't much of a fan of the classic it showing illusions to warn what's about to come method anymore. Didn't really like the idea when I proposed to meet you this way, but you know, since I'm a nice angel, I begged and begged. So, here I am. This is as good as it gets. Meaning, I can only help you through vague lessons and never the direct answer. You must figure out the rest on your own and overcome it. I know, right? It sucks that I'm basically kind of pet rather than an actual assistant. But I guess it's fair. Characters with know-it-all mentor positions like me are supposed to be an, an enigmatic after all, or else we won't be popular. 
But anyway, since I've eaten up a lot of your time, I'll get you I'll let you go for now. If you want to talk to me again, come find me. Uh, how about how about this? If you find yourself stuck or clueless, just send up a prayer and I'll come right down. Good luck, lady. I'll be cheering you on. Remember my words. I'm on your side. That's kind of creepy, not gonna lie. Ah! Can't believe I let that strange voice distract me. I need to focus and go to my assigned spot. Where was that again? Uh-oh. Girl! Why do I feel like I've been forgetting things more often lately? Even now, I feel that I'm missing something very important. For now, I'll just use the other assistance as an example and figure something out. That's weird. What? Why is she forgetting shit? Like... The church's altar. Now this looks familiar. It's like a stone-made bed. Don't want to actually lie on it, however. Are you okay? All right. Coffin where the past pastor lied. Did the pastor's chest move up and down just now? Must have been my imagination. Hear sounds of something breathing heavily from inside the cage. You can't see what's inside due to it being covered by the black cloth. Yellow? Why can't I talk with the other nuns? What the fuck? Yeah, this is weird. What the hell? What am I supposed to do? Yeah, this is weird. Where am I supposed to go? I can't interact with the nuns. What's my inventory? Huh. 
Hang on, hold on. Oops. Uh. Ah. Uh, all right, pray to the candles, music, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, pray to the candles. Interact with the candles, question mark. Not those candles. The bundle of candles are yet to be lit. All right. What even is supposed to happen? This is freaking weird. What am I supposed to do? How do I send a prayer to this guy? Yeah, the this is weird. Then what prayer? How the fuck do I send a prayer? Oh, I don't like that. Why are you so creepy? Why are you so creepy? Why can't I interact with the nuns? This should be a, my assigned spot. Oh, thank God. Right next to the whatever the hell that is. We will now begin the funeral service. First of all, I would like to express my sincere appreciations to everyone who's gathered here today. Not long after his wife has passed, our pastor has followed behind her footsteps. But, everyone, this is not a thing to be sad about. As the faithful servant of the Lord has told us before, our pastor will never abandon us even after death. After at this moment, the pastor is very happy to see how many followers of his has gathered here for him. Just like how his wife has yet to leave and has been protecting us, the pastor will do the same and take care of all of us. Let us all pray in appreciation of his kindness and thoughtfulness. Sipping on orange juice. Hello? Please, look this way. Anyone?
A voice is coming from inside the iron cage, covered by the black cloth. Is anyone there? Please, someone help me! I'm so scared! Help! I'm gonna look this time, but next time I won't. Did you just look towards me? Ah! Uh, you did! You saw me! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you so much for looking at me! No one else has even bothered to look! You were the first to respond! Does this mean you're different from the others, right? Please tell me you're different! I'm just an ordinary person! These cultists! They suddenly kidnapped me off the streets! I didn't even have time to fight back, they knocked me out! And when I woke up, here I am, trapped in this cage! Let's escape together! If you help me, I promise to keep you safe. They told me I was going to play an important role today during today's ceremony. They're obviously planning something bad. Something bad's going to happen to me. Please, do something. Behind you! It is time for the next procedure. Whatever is happening, I need to focus on progressing the funeral for now. The next event is... prayers. yes? Ah, there's a drawn symbol of hands put together in a... candle on the memo. How should I go about this? That is weird. I don't like... Wait, why did I go in? I'm able to go in the box. That's weird. This is freaky. I need this to light up the candles! Whoa! Ah, were my footsteps always this loud? Oops, that was... Was that audio too over the top? Ah! It's me! Lady, it's me! See, it's me, your friendly neighborhood guardian angel. Congrats, you got it! It's an A+, served just for you. You surprised me. Does this mean a lot of footsteps now is just... An auditory hallucination played by me. Ah, don't look too annoyed. You think I pulled that off just to mess with you? I mean, it was pretty hilarious seeing you about to ball your eyes out. Right, right, sorry. People here are pretty obsessed with everything being perfect, huh? Even a single mistake could make thing them think you ruined their entire parade. For example, making a noise when they're going at it during their hardcore praying session. They'll hear your footsteps the same volume as how I just played it for you. Or hey, maybe even worse. Eh, they'll think it's as loud as the entire building collapsing down. Anyway, long story short, watch your step. Well, that's enough live lessons from me. Good luck, lady. You're killing it so far. Watch your step. He definitely did that to just mess with me. Watch my step? Oh, 
Ah! When people are praying, my footsteps will be covered by their voices. It means they won't notice me. I need to light all the candles without drawing attention to myself. Why they stop talking? This is scaring me. Oh. <laughs> Why is it so freaking loud? Are they going to, like, hit me over the head? Oh, should I just start walking whenever they start praying? Or Brian, come on. Did that candle not light? Scared, dude. <laughs> These people are scaring me. I swear, is, are those candles lit? Like, this is getting scary. Like, I have to do this. Do I have to do this in a certain amount of time? There doesn't seem to be a timer. Come on, keep talking. I'm really hoping I lit all the candles out so far. I'm doing pretty well so far. I don't know how much longer I need to do this. Do I just like... Continuously not? I got one more candle light. One more. One more. Come on. Start praying again. Oh lord, baby Jesus. Come on. Amen. Thank you, everyone, for your sincere prayers. Phew! Now that that's over out of the way, the next procedure will be sh will sure to be will sure to begin soon. I should return to my spot and think over what I should do next. Oh, there we go. 
let us now sing praise, praise of blessings for the pastor, his wife and us, the remaining followers of the church in our future. To make the preparations for the next procedure easy, all guests, please take out the... Wherever the fuck those are. You were asked to prepare and hold them up as we all sing. Ah, the, the nun from earlier. Here, over here. You, you came back. I was worried something might have happened to you. Please, I noticed that there's a lock on the cage with a passcode. It seems like you need to enter four numbers. Please, help me figure this out. Again, I'm gonna look. Please open this up fast! Something bad's going to happen to me at the end of this funeral! I can feel it! Wait, don't tell me. You, you don't know the passcode? Then, do you know anyone around here that would know about it? I don't want to die here. Please don't let me die here. You need to be more quiet or they'll... Is it time for the next procedure? It is time for the next procedure. Oh, God, I want to help, but I don't think that'll end well for me. All right, what? Whatever. I'm gonna ask the passcode. Passcode? I believe every assistant have already been informed of it. Why are you asking now? Pleading face. Alert! Oh, what the it? How is she gonna take this? Tell me the passcode beam! Oh, no. oh my god! Oh my god, she's not gonna be happy. See you. See you? <laughs> You need to stay calm, especially at a time like this. Did she just do the heart signature? The next procedure. There is a musical note next to a flower on a list of numbers. Since it's hard to tell what the numbers mean yet, so... Does that mean I should check the flowers first? Whoa. Well, I am pretty curious if everyone did bring their things or not. I should take a look around for that. And person in the cage said something about a passcode. Is there something with numbers on it in this church in the first place? I know the guy specifically said to not help anybody. I'm hoping that they don't have to worry about- I don't have to worry about. What flowers, though? I got it, it's in my inventory. Wait, I just heard a coin. Wow. 
What? That doesn't make any sense. What do the numbers mean? I, I'm pretty damn sure that means resurrect or something. Who just said something? Don't forget? Wait. What was L I C A? Like, they said something about flowers, but what the fuck do they mean by flowers? There'll be trouble for the both of us if I talk to them now. Oh, she backed up on her own. Um... We got Laika. Oh my god, I could have prayed the entire fucking time. Oh my god. That was how I was supposed to save and shit. Whatever, I'll probably have to play through the entire game again. Wait, what? Oh, I was so confused. That's that's her holding the candles. I didn't I didn't realize that. Pray. Lady do you like spooky stories? Want me to tell you one? Too late, I'm starting it. Did you know when a person stays sitting in the same spot for too long, a ghost will appear and start counting all the hair strands they have? One, two, three, four. And when the ghost finishes counting all the hair, it'll... Snatch! Yeah, snatches you to, wait, to hell with it. How about it? Wasn't that scary? Now why? Want me to hold your hand so you can calm down? Ouch, you're too cold. I wonder what'll happen to people that are bald. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess don't stay still. Oh, I keep... You're ready to report already? Apologies, but there must be something you missed. Would you take a look around again? What? What am I looking for? Yeah, no, I don't think so, but... So do we have to check the audience? 
I don't want to talk to these people. They're looking hella scary. Flower? Oh, flower! They're holding flowers! Yeah, they're all holding flowers. Why are they talking during a scene? You guys are weird. You don't know how to do church stuff. I've been to church before and you have to, like, you don't talk while people are singing. That's rude. Yep, seems like everybody's holding flowers. Is there anything else you wanted me to check? suddenly grabbed your skirt what why I, I swear I brought it please believe me I, I did bring it you have to believe me I was it was right next to me it was right here until a moment ago I'm sorry I'm sorry I won't make a mistake next time please don't report me What do I do? What do I tell? Do I tell the truth? Or lie and count the as if it was here? Oh no! Was that guy- was that guy talking because he forgot it? Oh no. I'm scared for the guy now. I know Jalos how horribly- Alright. You know what? I'm gonna do the save. Now I know where to save. And then I'm gonna... So I was just supposed to check that everybody had flowers. But apparently not everybody has flowers. So... Alright. Let's save now before we report. So I kind of want to lie and see what happens. But I also want to tell the truth. Alright, we're gonna lie first, because I think that is gonna be an interesting option. Or no, we're gonna report it. We're, we'll report it. Why do you look so surprised? It's me. Mmm... Don't think now is the time for jokes, if that's what you are awaiting from me. Let me just guess straight to the point. Lady. You are not listening to me. What did I tell you? No matter what happens, no matter what someone says, mind your own business. Why do I feel like you haven't been doing that? I'm wrong, right? Tell me it's all just a big misunderstanding. I didn't want to be the mean guy here, but heh. You're just, you just aren't listening to me. Didn't you know that angels can be more terrifying than demons? Uh, it, I. Listen carefully. You are in a dangerous situation, understand? As soon as you were faced with a quick flash of an angel's true form, you started feeling like every ounce of blood in your body was about to pour out from your eyes and nose. Do as you're told. Oh, well, that's a 
you know what? Yeah, we're totally gonna report it. From from my perspective, how many are there on the left? I I didn't count. Uh, I didn't count. How many rows are there? Shit. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Someone was missing one. That's all I know. Oh shit, oh my god. No. 39? Are there- are there 10 rows? I don't know. I didn't count. I just checked. The report doesn't match this expected number of prepared. Please check again. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, wait. Okay. Okay, all I need is one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, six rows. Okay. What's well, four times six? Quick. 36? Is that it? No, that's. That would be six times six. This 36. It's four times six. Twenty-four? Okay, twenty- twenty-three then. It would be twenty-three. Alright. The report doesn't match the expected number of prepared- Drastically. What? I counted this time. Four. Eight. Twelve. Sixteen. Sixteen. Twenty. Twenty. Twenty-four. Oh, I'm freaking dumb. Wait, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Damn, what am I doing wrong? Other followers are now glaring at the person who pleaded to you earlier. So yeah, 23. It's 23, miss. What? Do I have to pull out a calculator? But it's 23, that's what it is. Or are you talking about the left? Oh shit. Damn it! I keep doing that. I guess we're gonna... Confirmed. From my perspective, how many are on the right? We're gonna report it as is, okay? Feel so bad for the person. Are you sure? This means somebody didn't prepare the flower. Confirmed. Well done. You may return to your spot and wait for further instructions. While I go check if there are any leftover flowers for us to use instead, the ceremony must be perfect. I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. Please return to your spot and wait for further instructions. Got it. Oh no. Suspicious. Everything is suspicious. 
poor angel. This whole funeral. Why did the cage person they cage a person like that? I can't just stand here and let that happen. Not only that, if I continue to stay here, who knows what might happen to me as well. I made up my mind. Let's just open the lock while that nun is away and I can. With the followers carefully giving up their flowers to begin to the front of the altar on the pastor's coffin. We mark the end of today's funeral service. And now... Oh my god, I'm so scared. We continue with the possession ritual of the pastor's soul to merge with a sacrificial body for his resurrection. We thank the holy angel as it prepared the lovely body to be passed onto the pastor's bot today. And for the pastor's soul to easily find his way onto the new body, we must first drag the sacrifice out of the cage and lie them up on the altar. Passcode. I need to remember it. Oh my god! I I'm I'm not gonna be able to save him. Not this time. It was it was it was the freaking. Game over. What? First of the day? Five, five, two, one. Oh, wait! Five, five, two, one. Yeah, shut up. It's hot, I get it. All right. So it's five five two seven. It's five five two seven. I knew it! I knew it! I knew something that was waiting for me. Human sacrifice! It's insane! Please open this cage. Let's escape this place together. Lock of the cage. Four numbered passcode. I need to remember it. Oh, wait. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Wait, how do I- how do I fucking do that? Bruh! How do I do that? Uh. Come on, dude, hurry up. No, no, shit. Why won't it let me enter it? My thing is out. Oh, no! All right, one. Oh, my God. It's, it's not registering my clicks at all. I'm sorry, guys. One! One! The cage is now open. Yes! Yes! It's open! Run! Why? Why aren't you running? If you if we stay here, they'll. Oh my God! Fuck you! It's truly a shame you chose to run away. Oh. I can't believe this. 
That, that's not her. That's not the pastor's wife. What we feared became reality. The ritual during her funeral didn't work. I knew that woman was acting off lately. Good thing we tested her. We're now sure of her state. Oh, hell nah. Hey. You don't have much time left. I think I can let you know now. You know how angels can fall, yeah? Not all fallen angels become a demon. Many of them feel the sense of superiority from the fact that they were an angel once and try to remain holy. So they wander around the human world since they can't go to neither heaven nor hell. Angels, when we descend, we need to hide our true form so we are, giving we are given vessels assigned from God to possess. But you, if, you, if you fall, you lose that vessel. Remember how I said fallen angels roam around the human world? But how can they when they don't have a vessel? They steal a living human's body. Targeting those who are desperate. Targeting those who are unstable. Targeting those who are lost. I will be your salvation. Just let me in your mind. I will bring you luck your loved one back to life. Sacrifice me a body of a person and I will let you, your loved one take over instead. Using their angelic voices, they convince those people to perform a ritual and possess their body before completely taking over their mind. And when they wake up, well, they put up an act as if they were whoever they, that was the original host of the human body or the loved one that was brought back to life and lives on that way. You probably already know where I am heading with this. Just like how the fallen angel possessing you is acting as the wife of the pastor who came back to life. But somehow you continuously showed signs of consciousness even after the possession. Whoa. The people of the church noticed something was off and they became suspicious. So they set up this fake funeral to observe how you behave. This was both a test and a trap. To see if you listen or not. To see if you are the wise and faithful woman of the church they know and adore. That's why I asked you to do what they want for now. I descend there and help you, but they aren't letting me de go down. They're saying that your actions have consequences. It's you who didn't listen and now you must pay the price. Even when you're still alive, even when you're still asking for help, you were just confused and you only did what you thought was best. How merciful of them, huh? I'm sorry. When did the where and where did the wife's soul go? How do we bring her back? We must perform the ritual again so that possession can be properly complete. Quick, grab her. We need to kill her mind so that she won't ever wake up again. Give us your body. It's for the peace for the church. Hey. Joke! Yes, this is all a joke! It's me! I'm her! The pastor's wife! D don't you recognize me? Please believe me! I'm the person you all know and love! So... So... Please just let me be! What happens now? Oh, 
that's just the end of the game. Well, we still have one more. Um, All right, well, that's the first game, the first ending. We need to get the other ending. Now, what I think what we we have to do, I, I don't know for sure, but maybe we just ignore the person. Ending two, false sacrifice. Oh, we got the second ending, but we didn't get the first? Alright, let's go into this one. Oh my! Starting the so ceremony without proper preparations, this aim is praying for failure! Oh my god, girl, we already know what to do. Nosebleed. Oh, no. When will I get used to... Used to... What? Have I bled like this before? The final event list is now difficult to read from it being covered by the blood. All right, now we know exactly what the fuck's going on. You can press X to review your inventory. Sweet. This is all the preparation I need. I should start heading over to the front of the altar and find my assigned spot. All right, let's be nice to this guy, because I think he actually knows... A strange voice suddenly starts to ring in your head. Alright. I hate that this is so slow. Be not afraid, human. Wow, that was way too slow and dramatic for my taste. Yeah, no. If I keep talking like this, we'll be here all day. So you know what? Go, be free. I will release you from this pain and start speaking normally. Give a huge round of applause for my thoughtfulness, everybody. Oh, and turn this weird background ambience off, too. It's kind of killing the mood. Now that's now that all of that's out of the way, can you hear my oh so friendly and soft voice that just makes your heart melt away from all the trustworthiness? Yeah, ouch! My heart, my sad, fragile heart. It's it's not being broken. Well, I just said it was part of a silly bit to make you loosen up, so I didn't expect much, but... You don't have to be so cold towards me, eh? I'm friendly. Promise. But anyway, it's nice to know that you can hear me. Now, how about it? Aren't you curious on how I look now that you've heard my voice? All right, all right. Everyone gather around for the grand entrance of yours truly. Ta-da! Aren't you too disappointed? 
What? Did you expect me to be more well? Holy looking! Ah, oh, come on now. Chin up now. No one besides me ever wanted to try and come meet you. I personally came to help you out since I'm super nice and proper like that. You should be grateful, lady! Before we start getting attached to each other, I need you to answer something for me first. Surprise quiz! Guess what I'm supposed to be? Feel free to answer however you like. You're not getting punished or anything. I'm just an illusion in your head. How could I ever hurt you? Oh, that doesn't mean I want to hurt you if I could, by the way. So don't start assuming I'm evil just yet. Uh-oh! Then I assume you also talk to other humans telepathically and show them illusions in their head. Whoa, I didn't know humanity was evolved this much already! Oh, how time flies! You're joking, right? Tell me you didn't actually think I was a human. Angel, that's right. An angel. Well, guardian angel to be specific. You know, the ones that get assigned to a specific human and look after them so they don't die. I think we can al we're also called the Silent Protector sometimes. Don't call me that. It's too pretentious of the title, don't you think? So just call me by my name. It's Forkess. Anyway, I believe this is the point where you're starting to wonder. Why is this suspicious angel reeking of old man energy suddenly talking to me? Why does he talk like that? His characterization sucks. What, am I not allowed to talk to people when I'm bored? Are you saying angels should shut up and only stand around looking pretty? I didn't say anything. Well, I'm not here because I'm bored anyway. I'm here for business. The human I've been assigned to took over to look over got tied up in this sus obviously suspicious church. Now, it would be really convenient for me if someone who's already on the site were to help me. Lady, how about we make a deal? Hmm. All right. What I just said sounds a lot like I'm supposed to be something else that's not an angel. But sure, like I've told you before, I'm telling you now again. I'm a 100% pure angel, don't forget that. Anyway, you'll even get a prize if you do your part well. It's... Drumroll, please. Ta-da, me! Youch, aren't you being too harsh? Wait a minute. She's supposed to be a nun? How can you even act like that towards me? I'm a very serious and graceful angel, you know. You still don't get why me being around you will be the best thing that can ever happen to you? Listen here. I'm a guardian angel, yeah? Think of everything guardian angels can do for their human. You'll never get hurt. All the troubling things in your life. Poof. Gone. How useful is that? Well, how about it? Pretty neat, eh? Isn't that your responsibility in the first place? I'm doing you a favor. You aren't my original responsibility, kid. Never mind. What I may mean is, yes, that's my job, but I'll upgrade those perks by 11. Like a bonus package. The Guardian Angel Premium, you could say. What do you even want? What I want is fairly simple. No matter what happens, I want you to focus and finish today's funeral perfectly all the way from start to finish. Now that's a 10 plus likability point worthy answer. Ew. Oh, and don't forget. Never think about escaping or helping someone. Ignore them. Focus only on what you're doing. Ha <laughs> ha, that was too specific. Are you suspicious of me now? How unexpected. 
Are you a people pleaser or something? You should be more suspicious of people than that! I'm afraid you'll get into some serious scam one day, lady. Well, of course you can trust me, but don't go around trusting anyone else that you see that easily. This little angel is pretty concerned of your future. I do what I want to make you trust me from the get-go, believe me. But you know how it is. The boss upstairs is pretty strict about this kind of thing. Listen, all angels have rules we must follow. We cannot let humans know what kind of crisis or problems they're going to be facing directly. Boss isn't much of a fan of the classics showing illusions to warn about what's to come at method anymore. Didn't really like the idea when I proposed to meet you this way, but you know, since I'm a nice angel, I begged and begged. So here I am. This is as good as it gets. Meaning, I can only help you through vague lessons and never the direct answer. You must figure out the rest on your own and overcome it. I know, right? It sucks that I'm basically some kind of a pet rather than an actual assistant. But I guess it's fair. Characters with know-it-all mentor positions like me are supposed to be enigmatic after all, or else we won't be popular. But anyway, since I've eaten up a lot of your time, I'll let you go for now. Yeah, if you want to talk to me again, come find me. Ah, how about this? If you find yourself stuck or clueless, just send up a prayer and I'll come right down. Good luck, lady. I'll be cheering you on. Remember my words. I'm on your side. All right. I can't believe I let that strange voice distract me! You need to focus and go to my assigned spot! The thoughtfulness. Hello? Please, look this way. Anyone? A voice is coming from inside the iron cage covered by the black cloth. Is anyone there? Please, someone help me! I'm so scared! Ignore it, ignore it. Uh, I swore that she looked it towards my direction. Please, don't ignore me! Please help! Even if it is now, just once, please talk to me! Is it time for the next proce- it is time for the next procedure. Whatever is happening, I need to focus on progressing the funeral for now. The next event is... prayers, yes? Ah, there's a drawn symbol of hands put together in a candle on the memo. How should I go about this? Alright, let's save first. Of course! I need this to light up the candles! Steps always this loud. Whoops! How was was that audio too over the top? Ah! It's me, lady. It's me. See, it's me, your friendly neighborhood guardian angel. Congrats, you got it. That's an A plus served just for you. 
You surprised me. Does this mean the loud footstep now is just... An auditory hallucination played by me. Aw, oh, don't look too annoyed. You think I'd pull that off just to mess with you? I mean, it was pretty hilarious seeing you about to bawl your eyes out. Right, right, sorry. The people here are pretty obsessed with everything being perfect, huh? Even a single mistake could make them think you're ruining their entire parade. For example, you making a noise when they're going at it during their hardcore praying session. They'll hear your footsteps the same volume as how I just played it to you. Or, hey, maybe even worse. Next, they'll think it's loud as the sound of the entire building co collapsing down. Anyway, long story short. Watch your step. Well, that's enough life lessons from me. Good luck, lady! You're killing it so far! Amen. Thank you, everyone, for your sincere prayers. Phew! Now that that's out of the way... The next procedure will be... will sure to begin soon. I should return to my spot and think over what it should do next. Let us now sing praise of blessings for the pastor, his wife, and us, the remaining followers of the church in our future. To make the preparations for the next procedure easy, all guests, please take out the flowers you were asked to prepare and hold them up as well as we all sing. <gasps> the nun from earlier! Here! Over here! You... You came back! I was worried something might have happened to you! Please! I noticed that there's a lock in the cage with a passcode! It seems like you need to enter the four numbers! Please, help me figure this out! <gasps> no! Please! What do I have to do to make you look my way? Help! I don't know what they're planning to do to me! Help me! Someone please help! It is time for the next procedure. Alright. You must stay calm, especially at a time like this. The next procedure. There's a musical note next to a flower and a list of numbers. Since it's hard to tell what the numbers mean yet, so... Does that mean I should check the flowers first? Well, I am pretty curious if everyone did bring their flowers or not. I should take a look around for that. And the person in the cage said something about a passcode. Is there something with numbers on it in this church uh, in the first place? I feel like I really just need to interact with the people that don't have a flower. I think it was this row? Hmm. Nope, it's not this row. It's one back. One further back. One of the followers suddenly grabbed your your skirt. Clyde, I swear I brought it. Please believe me. I, I did bring it. You need to believe me. It was right next to me. Even just now, it was right here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
I won't make a mistake next time. Please, don't report me. What do I do? What do, do I tell the truth? Or lie and count the flower of as it was there? Now nah, I'm gonna report it. Okay, this is all we need. Why do you look so surprised? It's me. How about it? Did you miss me? I'm not here to mess with you again, so don't give me the just yet. I just want to let you know that I'm well. Proud of you. Share you some good news, too. Did you know your trial is about to end soon? I know you must have been in doubt a lot during this whole thing, but... You're doing great. Just keep going at it, like how you've been doing, and you'll be fine. Wishing you my luck till the end, lady. Thank you for pulling your faith in me. Putting your faith in me. My bad. From my perspective, how many, fl how many flowers are on the left? Confirmed. From my perspective, how many flowers are on the right? Are you sure? This means someone didn't prepare the flower. Confirmed. Well done. You may return to your spot and wait for further instructions. While I go to, while I go check there if there are any leftover flowers to use instead. The ceremony must be perfect. No matter what happens, I came this far. I must make it through the end. I need to put my faith in the guardian angel. With the followers carefully giving up their flowers to the front of the altar and to the pastor's coffin, we mark the end of today's funeral service. And now... We continue with the possession ritual of the pastor's soul to merge with the sacrificial body from his resurrection. We thank the holy angel who has prepared a lovely body to be passed on to the pastor today. For the pastor's soul to be easily find his way onto the new body, we must first drag the sacrifice out of the cage and lie them up on the altar. So you were just yet another cultist after all! Please! How can you do this to another person? I'm a person, not a sacrifice! Help! I said help! Get away from me! I won't move an inch! I need to drag them out somehow. Wait, what? Continuously press E. Wait, what? What did I do wrong? Ah! Continuously press E. I'm pressing it, I'm pressing it, I'm pressing it, I'm pressing it. Oh my god, it's not working. The cage is now open. Oh, yeah. Just stop and get out of here already! Why? 
Why are you smiling? Congratulations, ma'am. She passed the test. As it was expected, I mean, the wife of our wife's pastor would never fall for cheap tricks like this. We apologize for suddenly making you through this fake funeral. It's just that you weren't acting like, well, yourself lately. We were worried that the ritual earlier wasn't completed properly. We thought we'd have to do it again. Please forgive us for ever suspecting you, ma'am. But at least we are completely sure now. The angel who blessed us with the power of resurrection, they were right. It's her, the beloved wife of our pastor, really has come back to life. Congratulations! You have no idea what's going on, do you? First off, relax. I'm not on the same side as those cultists. Since you passed the trial, I think I can tell you now. Finally, I was going crazy trying not to spill anything to you this whole time. You know how angels can fall from grace, yeah? Humans typically think that when an angel falls, they immediately become a demon. But that isn't always the case. Most fallen angels feel the sense of superiority from the fact that they were an angel once. So sometimes they obsess over maintaining the image of being holy and powerful even after their corruption. If they are banished from heaven and they choose not to go to hell, where do you think they end up? That's right, the world of humans. Now, when angels descend from Earth, we can't let our true forms be seen, so we are given a vessel from, from God to possess. So that we can use them to appear and exist alongside humans without harming them. But that's the case for angels who are still on their job. What about the fallen? God immediately doesn't want anything to do with them. So naturally, their originally signed vessels are taken away from them too. Then how can we exist on Earth? The answer is obvious if you think about it. They steal a living human's body. Targeting those who are desperate. Targeting those who are unstable. Targeting those who are lost. I will be your salvation, just let me in your mind. I will bring your loved one back to life. Sacrifice me a body of a person and I will let your loved one take over it instead. Using their angelic voices, they convince those people to perform a ritual and possess their body before completely taking over. And when they wake up, well... They put up an act as if they were whoever it was, their original host of the human body, or the loved one was brought back to life on, and lives on that way. That's right. You... Just like how you got in that girl's body. Are playing your part as if as the beloved wife, the pastor who miraculously came back to life. Who knew an angel could go so low enough to take over the human we were they were supposed to look after? Oh, what? You disgust me. Everyone else said you were a lost cause, but I... I could feel it. You're human. She's somehow still conscious even after you possessed her. As if you two were spiritually fighting inside on who gets to control the body. If you failed to complete the funeral service today, these people would have performed yet another ritual to your body. Thinking that the one from the last time during the wife's funeral wasn't completed properly. Then the original host, Angelica, would have been completely erased. That's why I insisted her to follow along. To trick them into thinking she's on their side. That's why, even if it isn't now, but slowly and carefully, guide Angelica to her salvation. Even if you are the host now, Angelica will gain back control. How do I know? The fact that you listen to me is enough proof. I'm sorry, Angelica. It will be painful, but until the day I can properly salvage you, 
You must per persevere. Until then. Wait, who's talking, though? I'm assuming it's Orcus that's talking to us. That's the end of the game. All right. Well, that was. Hmm. Um. Hmm. Whew. I managed to finish the game with a cup of orange juice and a string cheese. And now, after I'm done, I'm gonna go outside and roll in the, in the grass. Um... What do the endings mean exactly, though? Like, I'm not religious, so I don't know for sure, but like, what is it, what do they mean by salvation and... Like, I don't know, it's just... Hmm. Alright, well, I guess that's... The end of the game, then. And... If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to like the like the video and consider subscribing. Sabrina helps out a ton, and you don't need to do anything else besides hit that red button. And also, uh, if you want to see what other games I can play, leave a comment down below on what games you'd like to see me play. I'm thinking about playing some Undertale soon, as well as some other games, and I'm also waiting for the new game, Married in Red, by Studio Investigrave to come out soon. Um, and once I get a new PC, I'm also going to be starting to do Minecraft videos, so that'll be fun. But in the meantime, that's gonna be all from me. I've I've managed to I've also played Dead Play, Elevator Hitch, and Cold Front, so if you want to see me play those as well, check my YouTube and well, you feel free to watch all the other videos. Um and yeah. That's it. I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.